New York City is in the middle of an EMT crisis since COVID hit and workers have been pushed to the limit. Long hours, low pay, make it hard to maintain proper staffing levels. Our Linda Schmidt talked to one EMT about what it's been like on the front lines of the pandemic. You're first responders and, and during the pandemic, you've been heroes for the past two years. What has that been like for you? Um, I think it's definitely been uh, a shock to a lot of us. Um, some members depression, some members PTSD. And that includes Alex Pushka. He says at one point he contemplated suicide. Pushka is an EMT with the FDNY, a difficult job made nearly unbearable by the pandemic. The amount of death he and other EMTs and paramedics have witnessed firsthand is unprecedented. I honestly lost count. There was just a overwhelming sense of dread uh, coming to work, um, going home from work. Uh, exposing it possibly to your family. Pushka feels the FDNY needs to provide mental health services from psychiatrists and psychologists for those who need help. People didn't know how to talk about it. And people just kept everything inside. We are not provided adequate resources in terms of our mental health. The union president who represents EMTs and paramedics recently testified in a Zoom hearing before the city council's committee on fire and emergency management. Oren Barzilay tells Fox 5 mental health resources are limited for EMS members, and oftentimes they have to pay for professional help out of pocket, which they cannot afford. The FDNY tells Fox 5 it has seven licensed mental health counselors, nine licensed clinical social workers, and 90 EMS peer counselors, which are co-workers. Sending a peer counselor to talk, hey, how you doing, how you feeling today, and that's where it ends, I mean... They need a psychiatrist, a psychologist, somebody who can treat them. Pushka takes great pride in his job. EMTs are trained to perform basic life support, including CPR, controlling bleeding, using defibrillators for heart failure, treating diabetic and allergic reactions and seizures, stabilizing fractures, and giving medications. We, at times, save lives, and we give people hope where there may be none. We interviewed Pushka when he was off duty. His union president also provided Fox 5 access to Pushka from a distance during one of his shifts. On this particular call, the NYPD also responded with protective shields. The patient was apparently intoxicated and possibly mentally unstable. The EMT and paramedics union says the profession has become a revolving door. The FDNY losing roughly 400 EMTs every year, primarily because of low salaries. The union says the average length of stay on the job is two to three years. In the current contract, the union reached with the city, starting pay is about $18 an hour, plus eight hours of overtime every two weeks. Compare that to workers at Target, where the company will soon be paying up to $24 an hour. I live with my parents because I am not able to afford housing. He is 32 years old. Right now, uh, I make about $1,300 uh, every two weeks. I believe and the city council believes that we're losing a lot of EMTs mostly because of the lack of pay parity. Queen City Council member Joanne Areola is the chair of the council's committee on fire and emergency management. We're wasting a lot of money on training them and not retaining them and we can't have that go on. In 2017, numbers that Fox 5 received from the FDNY show 355 EMTs were hired, while 448 left the job for a variety of reasons, including retirement, injuries, or salary. In 2018, 449 EMTs were hired, 649 left. 2019, 488 hired, 227 left. 2020, during the height of the pandemic, 493 were hired, 113 left. And last year, 387 were hired, 278 left the job. People can't afford uh, being an EMT. Many of my colleagues say that they are waiting for the next opportunity. Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.